<laughs> Working with lions is a, I wouldn't say a dangerous pastime, but it, it certainly has its risks. The way we work with these animals is have relationships. Come on, let's go. Come on. There's a good boy. How did you come to love animals the way you do? <laughs> I don't know. I think they came to love me. <laughs> the way that they interact with me, the paws and the jaws. It's almost like they know I'm an honorary member of the pride and I'm not quite as strong as them when it comes to tearing the flesh. Zolani, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Get me in the cage. He's more nervous of you. Yeah. I walked with lions, not really, but kind of. So, um, how come I'm in here and you're out there? Well, I think the easy answer to that is you're not part of their pride. The interesting thing about lions is that they're the only truly social cat. They live in prides and they've got quite strict family groups. So if I came out, they would try and get me? Definitely. Analogous to humans, you'd say, you know, they really rely heavily on the bonds they have with their, their family unit. I work with over 38 lions. So, you know, if you could imagine working with 38 people, your relationship's going to be different with, with each. Do your hair for the day. In some prides, I'm really like a, like a brother, like another lion. In other prides, I know that there's one or two individuals that don't really like. I'm going to get you. Stop that. Come on. It's a human, like human relationship. You've got really good buddies where you can literally share anything with. But I've never in my life seen somebody who just doesn't have a, some sort of a stick or isn't trying to, to dominate authority on the cat. People from the outside look at it and go, oh, this guy's nuts. Because look at those lions, look what they're doing, you know. If they really wanted to gang up and pull me down and tear me to pieces, that would have happened long ago. You've truly got a relationship with them. Then, you know, surely you can lie down with them or interact with them like they do with each other. Words can't describe being totally accepted into a lion's, you know, space. And there's a big difference between being tolerated by an animal and being accepted by an animal. That's, that's the, the leap of faith, that's the step across the divide. There's no animal on this planet that humbles you quicker than a lion.